Hi, Fernando Perez here for War Music Method. Um, this time I would like to talk to you about something that you will hear many times. Um, well, again, should be all over music, but you will hear a lot when you try to learn certain uh, music styles that are more classified into the like war music traditions. Um, you probably hear about it. And it's the fact that many people will tell you, all right, it's very important to listen to vocal music. It's very important to know what singers are doing. Uh, is when you study music and you play an instrument, you want to copy the voice and things like that. It is true. Uh, first thing we have to think is like the voice is probably the first instrument for us. Yeah, before we had instruments, we had our voices. Okay. And the next thing we would do is just play percussions over anywhere, yeah? So anyway, what comes out of all this thing? Uh, when we play instruments uh, many times and in many styles of music, we want to imitate what the voice is doing in, in many ways, all right? Because um, first thing, the voice is an instrument that has very few barriers in terms of, for instance, if I want to hold a note on a guitar, it will only last as, as long as the sustain of the guitar allows. But a voice, as long as you take a very deep breath and you can hold it and, and, and release it evenly, you can maintain that note for a long time, you know? On the guitar, we cannot do that or on other instruments. So we have to create a different ways to do it. Anyway, so in that case, in other cases, is where we see that the voice doesn't have barriers like the instruments, all right? Um, the voice also has a lot of the ornaments, a lot of the different uh, ways to go around the melody in order to identify the style or to make the style sound authentic and, and original, but more authentic, I would say. Okay, so many times, uh, if we really want to get the best inspiration or we're looking for, okay, what should I listen to or what should, I, what should I aim to in order to play this music the best possible way? Well, one way you cannot go wrong is just by listening to vocal music and trying to copy that, understand that and copy that on your instrument. Uh, again, you don't have to become a great singer. It's not about learning how to sing. It's about training with your voice, listening to, with your ears to what the other voice is doing, etc., and then imitating that, okay? I'll give you a few examples. For instance, if you come from Western music, the most obvious thing that you probably heard before is those old bluesmen, how they used to play with the slide, okay? <laughs> And they will go and they will sing but they will copy with the slide what you were singing you got to move you got to move i move all the time 
okay and you see and they'll be copying the whole thing if you listen to those old early blues you see like they are exactly copying the voice even when they just play a guitar solo or any other instrument it's copying the voice all right so even when the voice doesn't even reach the note and is completely the note and is completely in tune we want to imitate that on the instrument to God, to okay if you go to other styles for instance let's say that you go to indian music or Ooh. okay they'll do all many different diff all many different things you know like different like they'll do all this this uh, these very fast notes legato okay this is something that vocalists will always do like oh. Then they have other other techniques, you know. There is this very famous Hindustani one that is called gamak. It goes like ah, you hear the voice like going like this, like very aggressive, like ah, you know, it's kind of funny at the beginning when you hear it. So you imitate that with the instrument too. Okay, and that's how you do it too. But this is not an instrument technique. This is something you copy from the voice. And most of the things you do here are not what we think like guitar techniques or violin techniques or things like that no it's just a violin player trying to copy a vocalist a guitar player trying to copy a vocalist and that kind of thing yeah same thing and last last example you know we can find on uh, let's say persian music okay we have all this this way of singing uh, these ornaments to just call it in that that way for instance that is called tahrir okay when they're singing oh, 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 and, and they go like like they're playing a note and they're kind of like how could i call it cutting it or something like oh, 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 oh. and they have different ways to do it i'm not the perfect singer here okay you probably can hear better examples than the ones i'm singing but anyway just play any Iranian Persian music and listen to a vocalist and you'll hear what I'm saying right away, okay? And of course, on instruments like the tar, the setar, or even on this guitar that is, is made for, for playing Persian music, you imitate that, you know, you will go like... You see how I'm doing? Oh. Okay. Okay. So again, this is not a guitar technique or a, or a tar technique or a setar technique. It's actually a guitarist, a tar player, a setar player, or whatever you call it, trying to copy the voice. So yes, you'll hear many times, and especially in world music uh, styles, that our inspiration, our first thing to follow, learn from, imitate, is the voice.